Hi, I'm Josh Oliver from Zenata Consulting. In today's video, I'm gonna explain the pros and cons to the CRM integration with Zoho Creator. On the surface, it seems like a pretty great and obvious connection to make within a Creator app. However, the system-defined integration does not work exactly how you might want it to. By the end of this video, you'll have a more advanced understanding of this integration, as well as my thoughts on the best way to integrate the CRM with a Creator application. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Enjoy. All right, so today I'm gonna to be demoing this inside of the creator app we've been working in called Tasks. It's a simple task management application. And essentially what we're gonna be doing is linking the accounts module with a task inside of this app. There's a few different ways we could do this. And I'm gonna first start with showing you the system defined CRM integrations and the integration fields with other applications. And then I'm gonna show you the limitations to that as well as my thoughts on the best way to integrate into the CRM. To start, let me show you inside of a form how you can integrate a record outside of this creator database into a form. So first off, let's just go into the editor and I'm gonna open up this task form. So here we have a task and I'm gonna open it up and it's simply just a, a task. We have subject, notes, status, and some other stuff. Here's an older field that I have called account, which is linking to a, a module stored inside of this creator app called account. Now I'm gonna delete this because we're gonna use accounts from the CRM. So let's just remove that. Got a few other relations. Let me just remove those real quick. All right, so I have removed that field and we're gonna add a new lookup field to this task form. And I wanna integrate this directly with the CRM. And one thing you've probably already seen is at the bottom of these fields, we have special fields. And one of those is an integration field. And so that's what we're gonna pull from here. And we can choose from a few different services. We have QuickBooks, Salesforce, CRM, Recruit, Projects, and Zoho Bug Tracker. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to integrate with the CRM, but the same goes for any of these other services. So let's go ahead and choose the CRM. And then from here, I can now choose a data source. I've already pulled in accounts and contacts, but I could actually create a data source with other modules by creating a connection and then simply just choosing from any of these data sources that are listed. Now the downside is this is only for system defined modules. So the standard modules within the CRM, uh, no custom modules or custom fields can integrate through these data sources. So that is one downside that I'd like to note. And that's the first downside is uh, custom modules and custom fields do not work with these data sources. I've already gone ahead and created an accounts data source and I've also created a contacts. So I can bypass this for now, but that's simply all you have to do is just choose the module, go ahead and give it a name. And now you have that data source available. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull from that data source accounts and then I can choose the field I want to display within this lookup field. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose account name and click done. Now I can name this account and to be clear, I'm just gonna call this CRM account. From here, I can actually add additional fields. So if I wanted to show the account number or account type, I could do that as well or show a few other fields in here. As far as settings on the right, uh, there aren't too many other settings that you have with this field. So now let me just show you what that looks like. So if I go into a task, let's go ahead and go to our tasks report, and then I'm gonna create a new task. Now I can choose from any of the accounts that are listed inside of our CRM. And so these are a bunch of test accounts that you can see. Let's go ahead and choose an account, and then I can go ahead and give it some information. So test. And task. Give it a status. Submit. All right, so now this task is linked to uh, one of Zanata's employees, Andrew Gritton. And that is an account inside of our CRM. So if I scroll down here, you'll actually see an account here called Andrew Gritton. 
That is the first way you can integrate the CRM into an existing form in here. Now, the other way you can integrate the CRM is by pulling that entire module into the CRM and showing it as a form and a report. Let me show you what that looks like. When you are creating a form, you, let's say we want to create a form and we can actually integrate this with one of those data sources I was talking about earlier. So the same data sources apply and let's just choose CRM again. Here are those two data sources we've already connected with, so accounts and contacts. But if I wanted to, I could pull in data sources from other modules. Again, these are only standard modules, no custom modules. And let's go ahead and pull this in. We're gonna call this CRM accounts as well. When I am creating a form, this is an actual form where I can create an account from within the creator app, and that will directly integrate with the CRM. The other cool part about this is it will actually show me a report of these accounts as well. So let's pull in some information here. Let's say we want to see the account type, maybe we want to see the industry and the address. Street, city, state. Uh, what's this one here? So give it a refresh and move it a little quick. Street, city, state, zip, and country. Sure. We can pull in other system defined fields here, but again, no custom fields are available with this integration. Also no lookup fields. So a lookup field would be a considered a custom field. Those do not get displayed in here as well. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. And I'm going to click done. We're going to go back into this application and we can see that a new module has been created called CRM accounts and I can click on this report. We can see all of the CRM accounts that exist in the CRM, and I can view any one of these and I can edit them as well. So let's say I wanted to make changes to this uh, account or yeah, really that's, that's about all we can do. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot delete accounts from here. That's, that's a, really about the only thing you can do is create or edit accounts using this integration method. So if I wanted to create a new account, I could call this Zenata Creator Test. And then let's say it's a customer account for consulting and I could put in an address, click submit. Now, as soon as I click submit, that account now exists inside of here. So I, I just refresh my page. Now we have a Zenata Creator Test. That would now exist in the CRM. Any changes to the CRM would update the Creator app and any updates in the creator app would push back instantaneously to the CRM. On surface, it seems like this is a, probably the best solution and let's go ahead and use this moving forward because now I can integrate this one record to a record inside of a task, but these records don't actually exist inside of the creator app. Uh, I can't actually link this form as a lookup to a module that already exists in here. So if I edit this and I go into our tasks and I go down to a lookup field. Now remember I named that module CRM accounts, but that doesn't exist as a form I can integrate within other forms I have. So that means this module, the new CRM accounts integration module exists totally standalone and I can't link anything to it. Meaning if I click on a record, I can't show any related records to this account. The whole purpose of this is just so you can create or edit accounts from within the creator app. Uh, you can't link anything to them. And I think that's the biggest downside to this integration and probably the easiest thing that Zoho's creator team could implement uh, if they could just link this record to an existing record or module, link this module to this module, then that would be the easiest way to make that connection. And then we can go ahead and show related records and make manage everything from within this integration. But that's not the case as of now. Unfortunately, I don't consider this the best solution. So we have our CRM accounts we can create or edit. And then we also have inside of a task a way to link CRM accounts to this task. So if I search 
it's not a creator test. It does exist in the CRM account, but I can't actually show it as a related list on the CRM accounts report. And that's okay, I guess, if you don't need to show any related records and you really just need to show it as a, a field here. So technically, whenever you create an account within this form, it will show up here, but it's not a direct connection. It's kind of a, a middleman. You're using the CRM as a middleman to, to make that connection. The other great pro to this integration actually goes inside the CRM. So if I am in the CRM and I go to setup, I can click on Marketplace Zoho, and then I can actually integrate that creator app with our CRM. Let's just delete this existing one we have, and I'm going to import app, and then I'm gonna choose from our tasks. Okay. Well, of course, now whenever I try to test this uh, or demo this, it's not letting me. Uh, when I'm choosing this application, it's saying that there aren't any forms available in this application. However, obviously there are. Uh, so I'll need to contact Zoho about this, but this is a small little bug and I, I just need to get that fixed. So really, uh, when you choose a form, I would be able to choose the task form that I have created. And then after choosing that form, I can integrate that directly into the CRM and show as a related list on an account record all of the tasks that are linked to that given account. So if I were to click on Andrew Gritton's account, I would see that new task that was created. And also from that account record, I'd be able to create a task directly. It lives inside a creator, but it's surfaced under that account record. I'm not sure what's going on with this integration, why it's giving me this bug, but uh, take my word for it that that is a great integration with the CRM and uh, I will have to create another video in the future on what that looks like. Now, let me hop back over into the creator app and I've talked about the two methods you have so far with creating accounts, viewing those accounts, and then linking those accounts to a task. Now, I've mentioned a few cons to this and the biggest being that you cannot integrate custom modules and you cannot integrate custom fields. Additionally, you cannot show on a, an account the related records that are linked to it. So if I look at this in Auto Creator Test, I can't see the related tasks that are linked to this. So to get around this, the ultimate solution for the CRM integration with the Creator app is to actually create that module as a standalone module inside of the Creator app. So it's not an integration module and you just use Zoho's API to create an account, update an account and delete an account from the CRM whenever a CRM record is created, edited or deleted. And so that's, again, using the Zoho Creator API. Here's a, a link to it. You can just Google it if you search uh, Zoho Creator Add Records. In this method, you are not limited to any module you integrate or any field. And what this allows you to do is create a record inside of Creator for every record in your CRM. This is the ultimate solution. It is more dev intensive though. So to do this, you have to be familiar with API and creating a JSON object to push to an endpoint and that will create a uh, record inside of Creator. It does take a little bit of time, but once you have it set up, you're not limited to any custom fields, custom reports, or modules. Uh, you can really just integrate it to any other record, just the same as a standard module would integrate inside a creator. So that's my method for integrating the CRM. And I use Zoho's creator API to create the record inside a creator whenever a record's edited or deleted inside of CRM. And then I also use CRM's API so that when a record is created, edited, or deleted inside the creator app to push it to the CRM. I'm hoping in the future Zoho will create a more unified integration that will do all of this much more fluidly. So creator team, if you're listening, 
Please integrate custom modules, custom fields, and make it so that these standalone records will actually integrate with other records inside of a creator app and tell them, I'm gonna continue using the API method that will allow me the most flexibility inside of Zoho Creator. But if you don't need all of that fanciness and you are okay with the standard integration, it's very easy to set up and you can have this running within a matter of minutes. If that's okay with you, then feel free to play around with it and just get it out there. But if you do need those custom modules and custom fields, then unfortunately you will need to go down the custom integration method. That is the integration. I will create another video in the future on the related lists, how they appear inside of the CRM. So that'll be a part two to this CRM integration video. But know that I'm saying all of this as far in terms of the CRM, but there's also the other data sources that you can integrate with as far as like QuickBooks, Zoho Recruit, Salesforce, and other apps. So check those out as well if those are apps that you're interested in integrating with into a creator app. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope I got your mind thinking of the possibilities with integrations in your Zoho Creator applications. Now you should have a good idea of the CRM integration that will work best for you. If you have any questions or implementations you would like to share, please put those in the comments below or post in our community, Clubs and Auto. Thank you for watching and have a great day.